The Bible is the Word of God. But let's be honest. Sometimes it's confusing and it can be easy to misunderstand what he meant to communicate. The good news is, it doesn't have to be. In this video, we will help you to understand how you can approach the Bible in a way that will help it to make sense. We've all been there. Someone twisted our words and misunderstood what we were trying to say. This never goes well and can lead to all kinds of problems, hurts, or frustrations. If people would only take the time to understand what we were intending to say, we would avoid so much trouble. Of course, we need to do this for others as well. The same principle applies when it comes to the Bible. Of all things, we don't want to misunderstand and misapply God's Word. When we read or study the Bible, it's our job to try to understand what was the original intended meaning back when the book was written. So how do we do this? One of the most important things that we can do when we read the Bible is to pay close attention to context. Context is the key that unlocks the meaning of the text and in turn its potential personal application for us today. So what is context? Context refers to the broader world in which a text is written. When we pay attention to context, we are kind of like detectives. We are not quick to draw a conclusion or interpretation about something until we gather as much evidence as we can so that we can gain a proper understanding. There are two kinds of context that every person reading the Bible needs to understand. The first one is called literary context. When we pay attention to literary context, we are looking at how the verse or passage we are reading fits into the bigger picture of what is written around it. This means that we have to understand passages of the Bible in light of the words and sentences that surround them, in light of the message of the book that they are in, and in light of what the Bible says as a whole. Literary context is important for helping us to understand a passage's original intended meaning. However, there is another form of context that is equally important, yet is often forgotten, called historical context. Though the books of the Bible are inspired by God, there's a very human element to them. When we pay attention to this historical context, we seek to understand the world and culture of the author, the readers, and the people in the stories back when these books were originally written. The books of the Bible were written by human beings like us. These authors had a unique, divine inspiration when they were writing these books. But in most cases, that doesn't mean that what they were writing was dictated directly from God himself. Instead, God allowed them to communicate his message using their own creativity and writing style in a way that the people reading it would understand. The authors were also writing to a specific group of people who had their own culture, worldview, and background, who we call the original readers. These original readers were facing their own set of questions, problems, and struggles that the author is trying to answer and to help them to have God's perspective and live accordingly. Of course, we need to recognize that we are thousands of years removed from the historical context of the books of the Bible, and we live in a very different world. We need to be careful that we don't read our world and culture into the Bible. So here's what we have to do. We need to first identify and then lay aside our own biases, our own culture, and our own 21st century worldview. We then need to transport ourselves back into the world and mindset of the author, his readers, and the people in the stories themselves. The better we can immerse ourselves into their world, the more their words start to make sense to us today. If we don't do our best to understand them and their world, we may misunderstand God and the message that he was originally communicating. For instance, we can have a hard time differentiating between the things that are the timeless truths that God wants us to apply versus the things that were cultural for that time. However, the better we can understand the historical context of each book, the more they will come alive and God's timeless message will become clear to us. So, there are two types of context that we need to look for when we are reading the Bible. Literary context and historical context. 
When we learn how to use both of these to understand the original intended message of the Bible, then we will see and experience the heart of God and His Word in a deeper way. Here at The Bible Effect, we believe that every single person is capable of understanding God's Word for themselves. We also believe that helpful resources that enable people to do this should be freely available to everyone. Because of this, we're creating videos for each book of the Bible that will bring their historical background to life. Our goal is to equip you so that when you read the books of the Bible, you can understand them for yourself. We are all about empowering you so that when you read the Bible, you will encounter God and come away transformed. You can partner together with us to help make this all possible by going to our website, thebibleeffect.com. You can give one time or you can become a regular supporter of The Bible Effect. With your help, we can create these resources for the whole Bible in many different languages and distribute them for free. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter to keep up to date with our new releases as well as ask Bible questions or share with us what God is doing in your life. Thanks for watching. Thank you.